So I'm filming by myself today, uh, which means I get to be in front and behind of the camera. But I think to start off today's comparison, let's take a look at the premium package. So again, this is the Land All Wheel Drive with premium package. And I think that this is a beautiful looking vehicle. Now the color it's showcased in is going to be pebble gray today. And I want to start by talking about the introductory features that we see on this trim. So the ones that start on this vehicle, and of course they're going to be carried over on the GT line unless it adds or replaces something. So let's start off. So starting off, we do have our cubed shaped LED. So it's a stacked cube LED headlight. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And with that, you also have this beautiful light stretching across the front grille. Now this is going to be a, a subscription based feature changing the pattern. And that again is going to start on this trim. The only difference is on the GT line is you're gonna have a GT line exclusive pattern, which you can see there. And we'll take a little bit more of an in-depth look at after. So here, of course, is the front. I want you guys to take a good look at the front because we are gonna have a GT Line exclusive exterior package. And a lot of the differences are going to be in the front bumper. Uh, when it comes to our active grill shutters down at the bottom, they are more of a fluted pattern. And again, you've got your radar plate there. Tons of overlap in our safety features between these two vehicles. Again, with our front camera, and then there's going to be another camera behind the windshield, which is gonna be used for your smart cruise control in conjunction with that radar plate. Let's move around to the side and we'll take a look at these wheels too. Now these wheels, I know that they're probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea. They are alloys. And the way that they are designed is they're designed with efficiency in mind. And pretty much what that means is they're designed almost to be like an aero blade uh, or aerodynamic for your vehicle so air can pass through them. And these are going to be 20 inches. As we move up or to the side, you can see we have some different side garnishes. And right now it's easy to actually show the comparison. So you can see we've got a little bit more of that glossy black with some nice satin chrome on the GT line. And again, we're gonna have a blacked up 21 inch alloys. And again, these are going to be an aero blade uh, alloy as well. Now from here, we can see more differences. Take a look at the side view mirrors. So these ones are going to be body colored for the land, where we're gonna get glossy black on the GT line, which I think gives it a little bit more of a sporty element, doing something tool tone when, uh, dual tone when it comes to the body colored mirrors, and then also, or sorry, the glossy black mirrors and the body of the vehicle. Up top, you can see the difference between our roof racks. We have just regular roof racks here on the land, but we've got a bridge style on the GT line. Again, super functional. I love these roof racks. I love a bridge type roof rack. Find it a lot more easier to use. And then when it comes to some features that start on this vehicle, the land, if you'll notice, we've got a camera right there. So that means that this vehicle is going to be equipped with blind spot monitoring, your uh, blind spot monitoring camera, and also your surround view monitor. And we'll take a look at what that looks like inside. Essentially what that means is with this camera, if you do have someone in your blind spot, there's going to be a camera on the dash and it is going to show you the, what your blind spot currently looks like. Also, these cameras are going to be pieced together with the ones on the rear, the ones in the front, and they're gonna give you that full 360 camera as we've seen before. Here's what your mirrors look like. They are auto tilting, auto dimming, and heated mirrors are also power folding, and you can save that with your memory seats. So again, super great features here on the exterior for the land. I wanna show you guys the trunk because there are gonna be some differences back here. But first, let's take a look at the design elements on the exterior. So again, still LEDs. We have a third mounted stop light up at the top. And this camera, pay attention to this camera because this is a feature, again, that is going to start on the land. And this is going to be for your full display digital rear view mirror, which again, we'll take a look on the inside of the vehicle. Underneath tucked away, let's see if I can show it. You've got your wiper blade there. So you do have a rear wiper on both vehicles, of course. As we move down, you can see we've got more nice glossy black accents for our bumper. We've got more fluted uh, material here. It looks absolutely great. I really like this pattern. I don't think that you're necessarily missing anything if you don't go up to the GT line. You can also see there's our rear view camera. There it goes. Also happy to say you do have power tailgate on this vehicle, on all vehicles. And here's what your cargo space is going to look like. Now, cargo space is going to be the same. Both of these vehicles are a six-seater configuration. The six-seat configuration, again, starts on the land um, premium package. But I want to show some key differences back here. So you're still going to have your trunk release and a 12-volt. Still, of course, going to have your level one charger. And this vehicle, again, does start with V2L. 
Uh, you've got your V2 adapter, so vehicle to load. If you're unfamiliar with what that is, don't worry, we've done a video on it. And then over on this side too, you can see we have a household outlet. So again, you can use that to power your uh, electronic devices with vehicle to load. Also, we're gonna have our controls to knock down the second and third, or the second row, the left and the right seat. There we go, now I said it right. But that's actually going to be different because we're gonna have a little bit more to work with on the GT line, especially when it comes to seating and configuring our seats. I'm gonna close this up. We're gonna go and take a quick look at the GT line the exterior and then we'll pop inside. So again, still your charge port, your wheels as I mentioned, and your roof racks. You have some nice flush door handles. Both of these vehicles are gonna have a digital key to touch too, which essentially is going to give you the capacity to start and unlock your vehicle with your phone. So it's great to see that. Now let's talk about the front of this vehicle because that's where we're gonna see some of our different as I mentioned, you can see your GT Line exclusive pattern. Again, subscription-based feature. Both vehicles are gonna have these ultrasonic parking sensors. Woo, that is a bright light. There you go, there's your parking sensors. They're all around the vehicle on the front rear and even on the sides. Now here's where things are going to get a little bit more rugged in terms of design. So you're gonna have some exclusive design elements uh, such as the uh, body colored pocket here on the front and then also a little bit more of a geometric pattern for your active grill shutters with your integrated radar plate in the center. So here's the GT line. You can take a look at it in comparison. There you go. Body colored. A lot more of the kind of darker chrome accents along the front. A little bit thicker, a little bit more aggressive. We'll come around to the side, show off those side garnishes too. Body, uh, glossy black mirrors, your roof racks. And then on the rear, Still LED taillights, and again, nice beefier rear bumper with skid plate. So again, more aggressive styling on the rear. And also, you're gonna get your GT Line badge and wear it or drive it with honor. Let's open up the trunk. There we go. There's your power tailgate, LED interior lights. Now, as you can see, this is going to be the same. We've got our mats in here. We still have our level one charger with V2L adapter. And here's where our differences lie. Still having that uh, regular household outlet, but from here is you can actually drop down your second row and your third row. So let's put that in action. All you have to do is simply press a button and you will see that it will drop down. And also you are able to raise up your seats. Now my mats might get in the way, you can see the second row I dropped. You can see the third row is coming up. Now it is electronically controlled and guys, let's be real, by no means was that quick. <laughs> but I think it is a cool feature if you are trying to load things up that are a little bit bigger and you need, uh, you don't wanna come around, you wanna drop everything down where you can. So that's going to be the biggest differences when it comes to the exterior of these two vehicles. Let's take a look inside. All right, definitely a lot easier if I do the camera and flip it around, but starting on the Land Premium uh, package is you are gonna have the inclusion of memory seats. So one, two there. And now this of course is all going to be standard, your heated and ventilated seats and two levels of heat on your heated steering wheel. Also something to be really excited about is the inclusion of a Meridian sound system with 14 speakers peppered throughout the vehicle. So it's great that we're seeing that not even on just the top trim. Now let's take a look at these seats that I keep talking about. First of all, look at this lovely synthetic leather. It's super comfortable and I love that again, it's heated and ventilated. Now you have tons of different ways where you are able to configure your seat. So you have four-way lumbar support, you have your regular six-way power adjustable, you also have a knee extender, and also the passenger relaxation seat. So essentially with that being pressed, I'll press and hold it for you guys, that way you can see. But you can see it's really reclining it, it's almost like a lazy boy in your vehicle. So again, that is going to be a feature that we see on this car. Now I'm gonna hop in and I'll show you some of the other key features that we have. Now, remember that camera I pointed to at the rear of the vehicle? Look at that. Now, I realize that this vehicle is parked in front of a black blank wall, so it's going to be hard to see, but this is actually live feed from that camera at the rear. Now, of course, 
if at ever I don't want to be using this, I do have my regular rear view mirror and it doesn't change. It's not impeding anything or anything like that using the camera. It just gives you an, another access point to look at in the event that there is something blocking your rear view mirror. But again, super easy to turn off and then it's just your regular rear view mirror, which is great. I had mentioned that we also have a blind view monitor and a surround view monitor. Let me show you what those cameras look like. So here's your surround view monitor. You can see it's using all of the cameras placed around the vehicle. Let me close my door. And it pieces together this full 3D picture. Also, we've got the view of our front camera. There's our front camera too. These are the ones on the side of the mirrors, which will also be used for your blind spot and will be displayed here or here when your turn signal indicator is on. And then also your front. Wide view of the rear your hitch camera. So you can tow, of course, with this vehicle. So if you do have a hitch, how nice is this to see everything lined up? Again, we're having our surround view mirror with dynamic guidelines. There's your mirrors again, and this nice 3D view. Now, I mentioned those parking sensors at the front and the rear of the vehicle. The nice thing is if you, um, say if I'm driving and I'm going to hit this carnival, it's going to give me a beep. It's actually going to show how close I am to it here and give me an audible warning too. So again, another wonderful feature to have. I wanna show you the controls on the passenger seat and also on the second row seating because if I'm being honest with the GT line, a lot of it is going to be just exterior based with the de design package, but also comfort based. So still on this vehicle, you're gonna have lots of ways to configure your passenger seat. You have your six way power adjustable with two way lumbar support heated, ventilated, everything like that. And then here we go. So you can still push this forward. You can manually recline with the lever and again, still the button to push it forward if the third row passengers need to access it. Uh, the seat for passenger is still gonna have your valet control. So as you can see, those two buttons there, that means that the people in the second row are able to move this seat forward, the passenger seat should need be. So let's close this up and let's go and take a look at the interior of the GT line. And I'm really excited. Oh, a big feature I guess I did not show on this <laughs> is going to be the inclusion of your dual pane sunroof. So dual sunroof in this vehicle, let me open it up to show you guys. So automatic. And then this one's opening. Now, of course, the second one, it does not open all the way, but the cover does close. The one, of course, in the front, it is wide. It does open and you do have a bug net to prevent any creepy crawlies from getting in. I'll show you guys what this looks like sitting in the back seat there you go beautiful lose a little bit of headroom in this vehicle of course with the inclusion of it but i think it looks great i also think that it also feels sometimes like you have a little bit more room having it let's take a look now at our gt line i think this beautiful vehicle looks stunning this is the color ocean blue and i honestly i think i love fun colors for evs if i'm being honest now the interior is gonna be a lot of fun. We have two-tone two in this vehicle and to check out that exclusive GT line badging. So it's nice, it's embossed in this vehicle. Another thing that's really cool is a lot of these materials are going to be made from uh, recycled materials, things with plastic on the dash, the mesh on your headrest. And if you are curious to know what those look like, uh, check out my Instagram video that I did. It's at shars.cars.khc on Instagram. Okay, now that I'm in, Ooh, there we go. Let's take a look at our screen. Of course, both vehicles are operating with a dual 12.3 inch with your five inch dedicated climate control cluster. Now, something that is really cool is on this screen and you don't have this in the other vehicle, I'm just showing you everything here, is you have this seat button. And from here, because in the, in the back, uh, I also have heated and ventilated seats for my captain's chairs, that is on the other vehicle. Uh, two, but what I could do is I can actually control the amount of recline, the cushion tilt, the leg support, everything like that for the second row. And I can also knock down and raise 
my third row and second row all from the screen. So this really is driver focused where the driver has almost every feature at their fingertips, which again, so, so incredibly cool. We also have that a digital display rear view mirror. There you can see it. So that's cool. We have a nice dark headliner in this vehicle. Um, I love personally a dark headliner because when I'm driving my vehicle, I don't really want to be seen. Don't look in my windows. Don't look at me. Let's keep it nice and dark. Uh, but I love this. I think that the bright two-tone kind of synthetic leather um, also really makes it bright so you don't feel like you're necessarily claustrophobic in this cabin. I think that it looks really, really, really good. So again, uh, there we go. Another thing that you are only going to get on the GT line is the inclusion of heads-up display. Now, I know that this is going to be a make or break for some people, so I figure it's definitely worth mentioning, but you do get heads-up display on the GT line and the GT line only. Another incredible, incredible feature that you get on this vehicle is your Ergo Motion seat. This is like a massager for the driver's seat. Down here too, let's take a look. You're still gonna have your passenger uh, knee extender, your passenger relax relaxation seat, knee extender, but also you're able to adjust the amount of bolstering the seat may have. Now this is a GT line, so again, you want something that's gonna hug you tight, give you that more sporty, uh, sporty feeling. I'll show you what the second row looks like. Again, these seats are going to be heated and ventilated, same as in the premium package. There's your Meridian sound system again, but look, we have electronic controls and we have our regular six-way power adjustable. We also have the knee extension. So you have a little footrest here that comes out. You're going to get this on this only. Again, this button is going to knock everything forward, knock everything forward. Same controls back here. That ambient lighting, beautiful. Lots of storage, climate control up at the top. Again, all of this is going to be seen on the other vehicle. Those are some more standard features. I will show you the passenger seat. There's your passenger seat. So again, you're gonna get the knee extender here. So a lot more ways to adjust there. The one thing I do wanna show you guys, of course, is going to be your key. It's made of recycled materials. It is the biggest key that Kia has done. And also, usually when you crack open your old Kia key, you have a uh, pretty much like an actual key, an actual metal key in inside of it. That's not the case with these vehicles or with this fob. You actually have them coming attached and you simply pull this out and it's going to show you uh, your actual key. So you can use that, of course, if you ever need to get into the vehicle, you can use it for your child lock, everything like that for accessing that. But one feature on this vehicle too is going to be the inclusion of remote smart park. Now these vehicles are gonna have just regular remote smart park where you're able to, of course, bring the vehicle forward backwards with your key, but the GT line is going to kick it up a notch. Now again, this is gonna be a feature on demand similar to the digital lighting on the grill. Um, but you can see from the fob that you do have those controls on there and whether or not you want something more complex is that's when it's gonna be introduced on the GT line for some more complex parking, say diagonal parking spaces, everything along those lines. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's walkthrough. I know that this video was filmed in a little bit of a different format. Hopefully it was still okay for you guys to watch and because it's pre-recorded, pre at least it's in 4K. So we're happy to see that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions about the GT line or the land premium or with premium package, please leave them in the comments down below. We have done full and complete walkthroughs on both vehicles. So if you want an in-depth look at either vehicle and want to know what every single feature does, please check those out. I'll have them linked in the description box below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.